wives actually made it on time, um, which is it, it's the equivalent of you know the baby in the car um, on the way to the hospital, and just you know everything just so fast. And by the time they got there, me and my mom were both holding uh, the baby. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's, you wait. delivered your children. <laughs> What? You delivered your own children with your mother. <laughs> yeah, and luckily my mom had, was a midwife, but she hadn't delivered babies in 20 plus years, and wow. she'd never delivered twins. So we, it was it was about as like I said, and we were we're both pretty relaxed and pretty casual, but we were certainly <laughs> not qualified to be doing a <laughs> unassisted home delivery of twins. <laughs> This will be five boys, so. Oh my we gosh. A, we have a, <laughs> basketball, a basketball team. What's interesting about this, you had a premonition or you sort of knew you were gonna have twin boys. When did that come to you? When I was in my early 20s, I was um, trying to figure out sort of the path I was gonna take in skiing. There was not really much of a, of a template before that. I was kind of breaking new ground a little bit in the US and um, yeah, it was kind of, uh, out of the blue, I'd never thought of. I didn't, and I wasn't sure that I was going to get married. If you'd yeah. asked my mom and sisters at that point, I was, it was like the furthest thing from anybody's <laughs> we mind. We were just so, talking about them. Yeah. So, um, and yeah, I pretty much at that point knew it. I told my mom, sisters, bunch of friends, and they were all like, "Yeah, you're, you're ridiculous or whatever." <laughs> and then here we are, 20 years later. Or so, and uh, I yeah, we'll see. And then, it was also that they're going to be born on my birthday, which is coming up October 12th. So, oh, October and so we, we have another another two weeks or so, there and then go. the full scope of the premonition comes true. Yeah.